Good day everyone and welcome back to my channel. You're joining me today in the state of Victoria, Australia's smallest mainland state. I'm starting my journey at the Southern Cross Railway Station in the middle of Melbourne City. So let's head over to Live Ryan to see what he has to say. And that's right guys, welcome to another one of my videos and today I'm coming to you from the Southern Cross Station here in a very chilly Melbourne morning. And I'm off to Sydney and I'm not flying this time because I am getting on the XPT train. So I'm pretty keen to see what the experience is like because uh, you know I've, I'm trying to get myself on as many train journeys as I can within Australia. Um, because I think it's just a very interesting way to travel around the country and I can't wait to get this journey started so let's do this if you're new to my channel my name's Ryan and I create heaps of travel and food related content if that's your jam why not hit the subscribe button and bell icon so you don't miss out on what's coming up next with this trip Giving me a like will definitely encourage me to keep prodding along to create more content like this one. So here's a thanks, because your support is very much appreciated. There are four XPT trains running daily between Melbourne and Sydney. Two trains in each direction for the daytime service, and the same for the overnight sleeper service. For today's journey, I've opted to be seated in the sleeper cabin for an extra $36 for two passengers on top of the first class fare. This sleeper cabin is designated as a day sitter for daytime journeys. I'll show you why later. Welcome to the sleeper cabin. These three seats here have individual armrests which can be folded up to create more room. The entire seat back folds down to create a bed for one person. There are light controls and you decide how you want the cabin to be illuminated. This is the top bunk, which folds down to create a bed for another person. For day services, these beds are locked in place and can't be converted, and hence the designation as a day sitter. There's only one power outlet in the cabin, unfortunately. There are some additional small and narrow storage units for storing God knows what. The meal trays are stored in here, and they can be removed and locked into your armrest during meal times. It's a little clanky, but it works. Ooh, coat hook. And finally, you can store your larger bags and luggage up here to create more space in the cabin. A toilet and shower is shared between two sleeper cabins. A sink can be pulled out to wash your hands and brush your teeth. And voila! An extremely shallow toilet bowl folds out beneath. Just be very careful when reaching down there to clean yourself while seated. Really, be very, very careful. There are additional dry storage areas to use while you're showering. So, that was the overall look into the cabin of the XPT train. Let's party like it's 1982. Ah, Miss Devereux, please come in. Because time has stood still for the cabin fittings from when this train was introduced in, well, 1982. Nothing much has changed. Everything has been frozen in time like a time capsule, with the cabin construction made out of glass and metal, and very little plastics to be seen other than the light and power socket switches. This journey today will see us make about 16 stops and a total track time of 11 and a half hours. There are track works in Victoria which explains the longer than usual travel time but this has been padded into today's schedule. Otherwise, the average travel time is slightly over 11 hours. Track provided and tonight we are 
not lie or sleep in the aisles and to keep your heads, arms and cleats, oh, beg your cleats, who's got cleats? I don't know anyone who's got cleats, but keep your arms and legs clear of the aisles while seated. In the um, but, goodness me, in the unlikely event. We're soon on our way north of Melbourne. I know this looks like country, but we're really still within Metro Melbourne. It looks pretty as we head towards the first stop of the day in Broad Meadows. This is Broad Meadows, a city still in transition after the recent 2016 closure of a major car manufacturing factory run by Ford. According to the last census, only 43% of the population here is born in Australia making this one of the most culturally diverse suburbs in Melbourne. Our next two stops at Seymour and Benalla will take about two hours, so this is a good time to ponder about rail travel in Australia. XBT stands for Express Passenger Train, but at speeds of 130 and 160 km per hour in Victoria and New South Wales respectively, it isn't exactly setting the world on fire. I'm a firm supporter of a high-speed rail linking the major cities of Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne. Now if only we could get the states to work together for the common good. What's your take on this? I suppose you're curious how the other cabin looks like. Let's take a little walk towards the regular first and economy classes and see what the buffet car has to offer. In first class, the seat pitch is definitely generous and feels like what you'd get on a domestic business class on a 737. There is a spring-loaded footrest and an armrest which can be retracted to create more space if you're travelling solo. The tray table is made of metal and very, very sturdy. You even have a choice of cup holders. The seat recline button is located here. And boy, the recline is pretty impressive. Heading into the next car, we find a mini first-class cabin and the buffet area. The cafe offers your usual pies, sandwiches and snacks. It also serves hot food during scheduled meal times and the attendant will come around taking orders an hour before collection. Because this is how long it takes to have the meals warmed up. You're given a little ticket with your choice of mains and you come to this area to collect when the announcement is made. From the buffet car, we're now crossing over into the economy carriage. The seat pitch is definitely less, but not by much. The seat back looks a little spartan, and here's the same spring-loaded footrest. The metal tray table is strangely a lot bigger than first class. As this is economy, the recline is not as impressive. At each stop, you'd get to come out for a bit of fresh air. But do not venture too far because the train will leave without you. Blink and you'd miss it. We've crossed the state border into New South Wales and we're now pulling into Albury, a city of just under 50,000 people. The airport sees regular services from Qantas Link and Regional Express and links this town to Melbourne, Brisbane and Sydney. From July 2022, Qantas Link will begin a seasonal service to Adelaide from here. Hmm. Another reason for a flight review, perhaps? It is here we get a crew change. A fresh set of attendants will come on board and join us for the remaining journey to Sydney Central.
After stopping at Kalkane and Henty, we arrive at Wagga Wagga. I've always thought the name of this town is very cute. I'm sure the folks here thought so too. That's why they named it twice. With its population of 56,000, it is the largest inland city in the state. Wagga Wagga is also located midway between Sydney and Melbourne. When booking XPT services, you are able to book connecting coach services from here to other destinations if you're getting off at this station. Ah, uh, lunch is served on the XPT. Um, so after we left Wagga Wagga, we were reminded to go to the cafe car to collect our hot meals. And we both ordered the... Final call, we have meals that are uncollected. If you are holding a meal ticket, make your way immediately to the buffet and car seat. Meals remain uncollected. If these meals are not collected shortly, they will be offered for sale. Thank you. Yeah. So, anyway, we both ordered the beef hickory with mashed potato. So it looks something like this. It's catered by Gay Gourmet. So I'm pretty sure that you'll find the same meal on an airline as catered by Gay Gourmet. So the meal comes with a, with a hot roll, a hot dinner roll that's been wrapped in plastic. This butter. Let's try the beef hickory. I just wish there was more beef though. It's alright. Bland. It's a bit bland. You would think there'd be more hickory in a beef hickory, but yeah, it's a bit bland. But it's tender. Hmm? Alright. Mm. I'll give it a six, seven. <laughs> the Master Chef judge gives it a six. It's like this? Yeah. Yeah, it's like this. Not this, but this. Yeah, it's alright. I mean, um, it's not going to win any awards, but it will keep your tummy filled until we reach Sydney because um, we will arrive, we were supposed to arrive at 8 but the train is running behind um, schedule because of the track works in Victoria on our way out. Um, so we are currently 20 minutes behind schedule. Mm. Yeah, it's alright. It's decent. Not great but it's decent. This is Jenny, a town of about 4,000 which was settled during the gold rush. Jenny in Wirajuri means speak to me. So it was very possible a white settler came here and asked the local where is this place and Jenny was the reply. Pretty much like how when the first white man pointed to a strange hopping animal and asked what that was. The reply was kangaroo which really meant I don't understand you. Welcome to Kutamandra. This railway station is similar to Wagga Wagga on the XPT network that you can travel further in connecting coach services. This town is also home to an effigy of a fairy tale giant gesturing towards his crotch. If you're into that sort of thing, come pay Kutamandra a visit.
The shadows are getting longer, which meant the early start today was starting to take its toll on me. The one disadvantage of these day sitter seats is they don't recline. But a low load factor today meant I was able to stretch out and lounge. My husband went into the next cabin to take a nap, and soon I too was stretched out in my little soiree into slumber town. I thought the seat was comfy enough to fall asleep, or I was just too damn tired at this point. This is Gunning, a town of 659 people which includes these two train enthusiasts. It used to be a major stopping point between Sydney and Melbourne until a bypass highway was built in 1993. This sleepy town has since been redeveloped into a mecca for bed and breakfast accommodations. I'm taking mental note of this. We're now creeping into Goulburn. This is the last town we'll see in daylight on today's trip. Goulburn is home to Australia's oldest theatre company. The Leader Theatre Company still actively produces five major performance projects annually, along with numerous other community events, readings and workshops. If you're a movie buff, parts of the 2016 movie Hacksaw Ridge was filmed at a quarry in Goulburn. From here, we're just approximately 195 kilometers from Sydney Central Station. It's time for dinner. And this time I've got the uh, pork with steamed vegetables. Let's see how this tastes like. So the steamed vegetables, you have potato, cauliflower, um, broccoli, peas and carrots. Hmm. Also bits that there is a bit of onion underneath as well. Hmm. Not bad, not bad at all. It tastes a lot better than lunch, a lot better than the beef hickory with mash, but um, still, you know, you don't come here and expect a five-star catering because this isn't Journey Beyond. This is Gate Gourmet. Yeah, so it's it's pretty decent, yeah. Our last stop tonight before Sydney Central is Campbelltown. So it's time for me to sum up this journey. If you're used to the well-oiled and excellent train networks of Europe, coming into a regular train service like the XPT can come as quite a shock. Modcons we're used to, like USB ports and free Wi-Fi, are sadly absent here. Australia is a vast country, and mobile connections between towns are non-existent. So if you're expecting to get some work done using Wi-Fi, not gonna happen. The XPT, while relatively comfy, where there is little track noise seeping into the cabin, still felt extremely outdated. Heck, I've been on more modern and comfortable trains between Jakarta and Bandung in Indonesia. So it's really sad why Australia as a country can't seem to get their act together to provide a decent rail product to appeal to the masses. The so-called express service has to be taken with a pinch of salt. I'm someone who loves to experience the journey rather than the destination. So this is up my alley. But if you value the express, 
I suggest you fly. Because this train journey came in at 11 hours 55 minutes. Nothing express about that. A new fleet of XPT trains are expected to be introduced in 2023. So you'll know I'll be back for that. It's been a long day. So let's prepare for our arrival into Sydney Central Station. Thank you very much. Thank you, see ya. Thank you, see ya. Well, my friends, that was the XPT from Melbourne to Sydney. Uh, it was definitely a great experience. Um, our journey was uh, a little, just under 12 hours. So we're finally here in, uh, in Sydney Central Station. And yeah, I think what I would like to do the next time is uh, to try the XPT on the sleeper service from Sydney back to Melbourne and then uh, I can compare the difference because uh, this was great because part of the part of the journey was daytime so we got to see um, pretty much a lot of the countryside but unfortunately because it's autumn so the daylight hours are pretty short so it got dark and then we couldn't see much after that so if you want to do this journey to enjoy the views make sure you do it in summer where the daylight is a lot longer and you actually arrive into Sydney um, in the daylight so you get to see more um, of the countryside and perhaps get your money's worth for this train journey all right so uh, if you like what you see uh, give me a like subscribe comment do whatever you do to keep my channel going and I'd like to thank you for watching the video if you've done it all the way until this point I'll leave details of my Instagram as well up in your screen somewhere up there. Uh, just chuck me a follow there so you can uh, actually follow my travel in real time and it gives you an idea of what sort of videos will be coming up on my channel. Alright, so until the next time, take care, stay safe and I'll see you around again. Bye!